Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on uh, how to create a library in Simulink. So let's start with the blank library. Okay, Simulink. And uh, let's take a blank library. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's uh, take a simple uh, two input, uh, uh, input and an output. So, in and out, okay. And let's create a subsystem out of this. So, let's connect to this and uh, select all right click and uh, create a subsystem uh, from the selection or control G. Okay, so now you have the subsystem uh, created. So, uh, we don't need this uh, input and output. We'll delete this. And uh, now, if you uh, want to uh, change its uh, parameters or the view, you can just right click, go to um, the yeah format and color, foreground color. If you want to change, you can change it. Say, for example, you take it this one and uh, you change the uh, background color say take it uh, as green or uh, yeah you can change it uh, as per your need then um, yes if you want to uh, bring some name here on the in, in the center and uh, change the name of this uh, uh, input and output so for this you can just right click and go to mask and uh, create mask and here you have different options. The first one is icon and ports, parameters and dialog, uh, initialization and uh, also you have documentation. So icon and ports is like where you can write the icon drawing commands. Uh, say for example, as I mentioned in the in the uh, in the center, you want the name. So in such cases, you can have this command, uh, disp command, and uh, you can give whatever name you want in the single quote. Say for example. Uh, um, um, my library okay yes and uh, semicolon apply ah uh, yeah you have it added here yes this way similarly you can change the yeah import uh, yeah uh, in, input and output names as well edit mask and uh, in the next line you can use this uh, command port label port label and uh, yes the yeah input and uh, yes the name whatever name you want to give um, say for example you want to give test in and the same thing you can just copy and uh, same way you can do it for output as well just change it to output and make it out yeah you can give your name whatever name you want to give yes apply and okay you can see here uh, you have the in and out whatever you have given in your um, code there you have uh, got it here in the command whatever you have given okay similarly the uh, yes the other options i want to tell so edit mask so here you have parameters and uh, dialog so this is where you uh, define the parameters for your uh, library and also uh, the dialog box configurations you can do it from here and uh, also initialization so for uh, larger systems or larger uh, models you need uh, initialization for the services and for those services initialization is done in this part you can give the initialization commands here and uh, the documentation part say for example uh, some documentations you want to add for your library you can add it from here description type and uh, the in the help say for example um, uh, you want uh, yeah uh, say uh, yes uh, help uh, data just you have added the helping uh, whatever the, uh, the you know data you want to add it here as, as a part of help so you can just apply and you can give okay and uh, if you double click and if you go to help here and whatever you have added there right that will be displayed so that the user can understand it in a better way yeah how how he can use this library yeah 
Th those information you can provide it from here. Yes. Um, yes. And um, let's uh, save this library now. So for now, we'll just save this library. Save and uh, you can save it anywhere. You just save it as uh, yeah, uh, new library. Yeah. And uh, okay, let's use this library in the in one in a simple model. So let's take a model and uh, yeah blank model and we'll just yeah drag this uh, library into this model okay we'll just copy this and yes we'll take this in this model yeah okay so once uh, you have added you just go to display and link the model so library links and user define okay you can see once you make it as user defined uh, link uh, uh, you you can see a link uh, here that is enabled here and um, yeah let's just replicate this control c and uh, control v so yeah okay so if you just right click and uh, sorry here here if you just click on this yeah and go to library block you will uh, be navigated to the uh, actual library block that you created yes so also uh, yeah just uh, think that this will just disable this uh, link disable the link and uh, uh, we'll go to the library block from here I will just go to the library block and uh, yeah go to library block and uh, will uh, you have a uh, to go inside this library block you have a symbol here you can just click here and let's make a small change here uh, just think that a small a change is made to your uh, library block you will change it a simple change will make and we'll just save this and uh, we have used this same library block in our model uh, in one one of which is linked to this library and other one is not linked so let's see uh, the changes are reflected or not so this is linked and you can see the changes are reflected here and also if you see here the changes are not reflected so this is the main part so if ever you want the changes to be reflected make sure that it is linked to the library otherwise you cannot uh, see the changes um, say for example this, uh, the this, uh, a library is used in a lot of places in your uh, complete system and uh, say you fixed uh, some uh, uh, map rules or some polyspace rules some static uh, rules you fixed in the library so if that chain needs to be reflected in your uh, complete system then all the in all the places you may, you have to make sure that it is linked so otherwise it will be a tedious task that you need to go to uh, 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 each block and you need to make changes that will be a difficult part so let's uh, just yeah uh, yeah we'll go to resolve link and uh, restore all and apply and give okay so now if you see if you go go inside you can see the changes reflected here so this is how you can create a library and use it in your uh, model so uh, thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you